Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Titan Tries. This game was supplied to, uh, by my good friend, the Games Librarian. This is actually a game that I've wanted to play since it came out. We are talking about Battalion Wars this time round. Uh, this is connected to the Advance Wars series, uh, which actually goes, as far as I can understand, all the way back to the Famicom. Um, I can't even remember what the originals were called, but it goes way back to the 8-bit um, gaming systems. And I actually really enjoyed Advance Wars. I played a hell of a lot of it uh, on the Game Boy Advance. And after the Game Boy Advance, I played Dual Strike, I think it was, on the DS. And I had a really good time. They were very, very hard games, kind of traditional um, turn-based RPG, um, RPGs, strategy games. Started off really, really easy, and then towards the end of the campaigns, they got really challenging. But they had fun little quirky characters, and the, the music was very good, and they had a cute art style. But this game, this is uh, fully 3D, and i tell you what this reminds me of a little bit. This reminds me of the outfit from the um xbox 360 and i guess it's a similar sort of vein although obviously this dropped first i know my lighting sucks in this room i will invest one day in a better camera but you know um yeah so i'm really looking forward to this they actually made a second one as well but that came out on the wii and i don't like the wii i don't like the wii at all uh it's actually a horrendous system to try and record as well thanks to the Wiimotes and the fact that I cannot sit here because the sensor bar is you know what foot and a half or what not even a foot and a half but a foot away from me so it doesn't work so I have to go sit right at the back of the wall for the sensor bar to actually pick up and work but um and let's not even get into the Wii U Ugh. nightmare of a system to set up and yeah two power supplies huh Remember when Sega did that? Yeah, didn't go down too well, did it? Anyway, this game, um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Visually, it looks fantastic. Uh, we are going to be using Dolphin to play this one. Kind of really like the cartoony kind of art style here. Big, chunky vehicles. Not really sure. Oh, obviously, left the disc in the Wii, which is a fantastic big brain move, considering my Wii's modded and all I did was rip the disc. Um, so yes, I've actually ripped the ROM. Yes, no, no illegal business going on here. Um, yeah, I think it's about time to have a look at some blurb. I mean, what does it say on the back? Battalion Wars blazes into the Nintendo GameCube, onto the Nintendo GameCube, with a platoon of real-time strategy action. Whether you're hoofing it across the plains as a lone infantryman or commanding an entire platoon from atop an armored tank. Ooh, that sounds fun. The challenge is real and the mission is critical. You've never played a real-time strategy game like this before. And, yeah, they're probably right. I think this was quite a unique little idea back in the day. Um, there were other sort of strategy games where you controlled uh, a unit on the battlefield. Warzone comes to mind. And, uh, old No, was it Warzone or Battlezone? old PC game. That would be a fun game to go back and look at. Um, yeah, so you know, it's certainly not a common idea anyway, and with a Nintendo coat of, coat of paint, I think this could be fun. I like Nintendo games. I just don't like Nintendo systems. So anyway, we've got some uh, blurb here. Actually, it's not true. I don't like the Wii, and I don't like the Wii U. In fact, I, I, I hate the Wii U um, as a system. It. Anyway, I'm not going to go down that road. Uh, Battalion Wars is a 2005 real-time tactics game developed by Kuju London and published by Nintendo for the GameCube. The game is a spin-off of the Wars series, which includes Advance Wars and Fire Emblem. Yeah, Fire Emblem. I have dabbled in the Fire Emblem games. They're not 
really for me i just don't like the characters and it's very anime and yeah um not really my vibe these days unfortunately the game features a single player campaign in which the player controls various units from four factions the western frontier the tundran territories the solar empire and the was it was that zylvania zylvania Depends how you want to pronounce the X <laughs> and the Y. Hmm. The game uh, combines elements of third-person shooters and real-time strategy, allowing the player to switch between units and give orders to the rest of the battalion. Ooh, I'm really into I'm, I'm looking forward to this. The game's story follows the commander of the Western Frontier, who initially fights against the Tundran territories uh, in a cold war that escalates into a full-scale conflict. Along the way, the commander allies with other factions and faces a common common enemy the uh zilvian army led by kreiser kreiser vlad who seeks to conquer the world with his secret weapon the game has 20 missions each with uh, different objectives and challenges the game also has bonus missions that let players control units from other factions interesting okay because, of course, in the Advance Wars series, you um, I'm pretty sure you could cycle around different... Um, they weren't... Well, yeah, different factions, different countries. So, anyway, the game was originally titled Advance Wars Under Fire, but was changed to avoid confusion with the main series and appeal to a wider audience. I know this game didn't sell very well, and I do wonder if they titled it they actually kept the um, title Advance Wars. I wonder if it would have done a little bit better. Uh, I don't know, to be honest. But uh, I think games like Battalion Wars, well, Advance Wars, really. And um, what was the other one that they did? Where is it? Fire Emblem. These games seem to be really popular now, whereas back in the day, although they sold units... You didn't really hear anybody talking about them because they were very, very niche. Whereas I think now with the popularity of the Switch and things like that, a lot more people seem to play them. So this probably would have done a lot better if it was released today. Um, so the game's art style and humour are influenced by comic books and cartoons, especially those of Commando Comics and G.I. Joe. Now, Commando Comics, I do remember. G.I. Joe, I never really got into. Um, never really watched any of the cartoons when, when I was younger or anything like that. So, can't comment too much on that. The game soundtrack was composed by Nick and Justin, who also worked on games such as Batman Arkham Asylum and Alien Isolation. Now, the Batman Arkham Asylum ser uh, series, uh, I never got into those. They're not for me. I don't really like superheroes at all uh it, it literally does nothing for me whatsoever but i did watch my brother um was it my brother or my ex i can't remember i watched somebody go through two of those games and um yeah uh, put me to sleep now alien isolation that was fantastic that was one of my favorite horror games probably of all time uh, really deserved a sequel probably one of the best alien games as well just saying very underrated game because I, I don't think it's sold that well either off the top of my head i remember them celebrating only a few years ago that it crossed like was it a million or two million sales shame shame so the game received generally positive reviews from critics who praised uh, the gameplay, graphics, and voice acting, but criticized its lack of multiplayer mode and camera issues. Really? I mean, I suppose... I suppose... GameCube, yeah, we were in that very much in that couch co-op kind of genre and uh, online co-op or online play was just about creeping in. Uh, not so much on the GameCube. I think there's only like two or three GameCube games that actually had online play with a broadband ad adapter. Uh, whereas obviously the original Xbox wrote the fucking book and there was um, quite a lot on the PS2 as well. But then that seventh gen is where that really kicked up a notch. 
with Xbox Live and PlayStation Network. And then, you know, Nintendo sitting in the corner, sucking its thumb, eating glue. Uh, how the how sometimes I wonder how Nintendo's still going. I really do. Um, I don't want them to go anywhere because I love Nintendo, but just, yeah, just yeah. strange company. It's like a company that literally has no idea what it's doing, just throwing so much shit against the wall and seeing what sticks. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the game sold poorly where it was oh in japan where it was released as assault famicom wars despite being advertised by nintendo the game has a sequel battalion wars 2 which was released on the wii yes in 2007 the sequel adds naval units that's cool online multiplayer and motion controls because of course it did oh see the the trouble is the wii had a good little um, collection of really decent games but but having to pick up the fucking Wiimote again I mean uh, there was a game that I was I started recording a few months ago actually The Conduit which was one of my favourite Wii games actually I mean it was ham and cheese all the way through but it was a good solid game Going back to play that now with a Wiimote and a nunchuck, I got about halfway through the game and I was just like, I can't do this anymore. Just just give me one of these, you know, please, Nintendo. I think they finally got the message now, but back then it was Dark Ages. I think The Conduit 2, which I never played because I didn't want to fuck with a Wiimote, um, I'm pretty sure that had a controller option. I, and that's another thing. Nintendo released a pro controller for the Wii, right? They just didn't like using it. <laughs> it's like, yes, you could buy a pro controller so you don't have to use the Wii mote, but we're not really going to support it. <sighs> Dark times. Anyway, let's uh, have a look at this game, shall we? Alrighty then, so we've got some options here. 60 Hertz. Okay, so 60 Hertz mode please and straight away you can already see how much cleaner and clearer this is than playing it on the actual GameCube. So I'm happy with that. I love these emulators, I really do. I'm playing it with the uh, Xbox controller is definitely preferable for me because I like the Xbox controller. All right. Battalion Wars. Oh, hello. <laughs> wow, that's going to wake the dead. Let's go. Um... I guess we're just going to fire into slot A and see what happens. Combat patrol. Is it new? Alright, it just literally kicks you straight into it, I guess. Okay. Let's go to next mission, which is the first mission. Combat patrol. Patrol and uh, recon the demilitarized zone on our border with the Tundran territories. Tundra is gearing up for something, and we need to keep an eye on them. It's time to put your basic training into practice and find out what kind of game they're playing. Ah, yeah, I'm more, more kind of interested in what kind of game you're playing. Ooh. I see, I skipped all of this. Oh, we've got voice acting. Between the western frontier and the Tundran territory. For months now, the site of an uneasy truce between two mighty armies. This is a waiting game, with both sides primed to retaliate in the event of a preemptive strike. But on this historic day, control of the Tundran Empire passes from the iron grip of Tsar Gorgi into the more progressive hands of his son and heir, Marshal Nova. And with Nova in charge, there are those who dare to whisper that this time, peace might just endure. We shall soon see about that. Kind of getting glitch in the system sort of vibes. <laughs> Our boys are getting mighty 
switchy down there. We got the men, we got the playbook. Where's the Conley? The world is changing, Herman. Looks like this truce could last a long, long time. Ooh, that voice. What? You gotta be pulling my pin. But if we have to fight, then fight we shall. In the meantime, the men are getting out of shape. How about we organize a little sortie to perk up their spirits? A field exercise. Hmm. With live ammo, of course. Hey, uh, I like the way you think. Not sure on Bessie's voice, uh, to be honest, but hey, it's all good. Press the X button to get friendly troops to follow you. Press it again in order to order them to stay put. All right. I like the art style. The art style's cool. Yeah, big glitch in the system vibes, which yeah, it's not Come a bad on, thing. Oh. Wouldn't Master mistake Command you. Has chosen you to carry out a recon mission along our border with the Tundran territories. It's been a while since your battalion saw combat, so I'm going to be putting you through your paces before you head out on patrol. All right. Yeah, that voice. Ooh. Welcome to the Fourth Gridiron Obstacle Course. Head for the gold star, Commander. Okay, so... First things first, why don't you limber up a little? Use the control stick to move around. Visually, it's nice. I'm enjoying the big chunky kind of art style. Oh, yeah, the art style. Hmm, I like it. Um, Alright, so the C stick, the second analog stick, doesn't look which... You know, Nintendo doesn't really like second analog sticks. They kind of forget they put them on their controllers. Or at least they did during the GameCube uh, era. Anyway, hmm. got to go towards the big star. That makes sense. Press the B Ooh, hello. Jump. Now traverse those up. Take out all the target dummies and show me you've got the right stuff for this patrol. Well, we're gonna certainly give it a go. There Do we go. Targeting reticule. If you press and hold the L button, you will lock on to this Ooh. target next. Lock on to one so of we can targets, like strafe and stuff. In any direction and press the B button to execute a combat roll. The B button, huh? Okay, that's actually like really mobile as well. You can really kind of like fly around. I like that. And show me you've got the right stuff for this patrol. Well, we gave them hell. Those if dummies didn't know what hit them. Then use the control stick to look around. What? What? Let's check your eyesight, Sold. Looks like you're in good shape, Commander. This mission is a go. Move out to the next gold star. So check out the radar in the top left corner of your screen. The flashing gold star is your objective marker. So to free look, you have to hold down the uh, left trigger or left bumper, I guess it was. You know, there's a you know there's a second analog stick on the controller, right? Check right. Check out the radar in the top left corner of your screen. The flashing gold star is your objective marker. All right, that makes sense. I'm liking the animations. Oh, hello. What's this Joker doing in frontier territory? He must be a tundra spy. After him. I guess we can't do anything with him. So uh, reloading is like automatic, and your ammo is on a meter to the left of the targeting reticle. All right. We can handle that. Okay, we can handle that as well. Naughty little gits, eh? Setting up these contraptions on our the side of the post. territory. Look for the red blitz on your radar. I'm looking. I'm looking and I'm shooting. I like that dodge. I like it. Alright, let's go find out where this... Ooh. These guys Chinese. See, this <laughs> this is the annoying thing. You can't just use the the um, left stick to look up. What? Well, I don't know why. Oh. And you can't. Oh, you can lock, but you have to let go of the other stick first. Or the other trigger. That's that's a thing, I guess. Okay. Ah, oh, there he is. I see him, Betty. You don't need to squeak into my ear. Why are we being commanded by a four-year-old girl? Well, I guess I'll let anyone in. This is one slippery customer. Move out, Commander, and keep your eyes peeled. Interesting the A button is shoot and it's not any of the triggers, but that's not a big deal. Command isn't gonna like this. Go ahead and destroy them all. 
kill them all. Let God sort them out. <laughs> Lead your target, sir. Oh no, we lost the lock. Okay, that's fine. So we have to then go into look mode, aim at him, let go of the trigger, and hit the other trigger. Yeah, there we go. A little bit odd, but I'm sure I can get used to it. You lose, sucker. Head towards the star of victory. Let's hustle, Commander. That spy can't have gone far. Yeah, so B just jumps. That's fine. That's one of our boys. Go see if he's okay. Hello, boy. Darn it, he's a gunner. That spy <laughs> is gonna pay for this. <laughs> Darn it, he's a gunner. Oh, hello. Okay. I thought we were drowning then. <laughs> A little bit hogs of war like as well, in a way. Wake up, Alpha Company. These rifle yeah, wake up, guys. You. you just you See just the let the spy sneak across you. Press the X button once more. See the silver shield icon? Okay. This means your troops are in sentry mode. Head to the next gold star. All right, your that's uh, nice and simple. Of a tundra camp in the area. A tundra camp in the area, you say? Well, that won't do now, will it? Come on, GIs. Does it have to be so cold? Does it have to be so cold? So I know, I'm sorry, dude. One of them and press the y button to order your men to attack. Oh. Okay. When your men have destroyed their I like target, that. They will automatically return to follow mode. So where's our health? I guess our health is that bar under our, um, our icon there. Target the big ammo dump. The, the big ammo dump. enough to destroy the barbed wire. Recon unit. We'll a catch up that spy in no time. Oh, we can swap. Lock on to the recon okay. unit and we'll use the Z button to you. jump behind the wheel. That's all the D-pad does. Lock on to the right. recon unit and use the Z I'm button. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Ooh. Now keep moving. We have a spy to catch. So how does oh, okay, so this is just uses the stick to move. Oh man, this is cool. Smash through the barbed wire, Commander. Oh, look at this vehicle. It's so chunky. Uh, now we come. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. Making war, Brigadier Betty. Isn't this what Frontier Command has been waiting for? Those tanks are cool. I think the assembled might of my personal army speaks for the marshal's intentions, Brigadier. Well, that's bad. I mean, it's good for us because it will lead for a uh, interesting game. Oh, we got a B. All right, it's probably not great, but victory is a victory. I like this. This is cool. Uh, I like the art style. I like the vehicles. A B though. Speed is 45%, so I guess these levels are gonna um, need to be done at speed, which is gonna be a downfall for me. Okay, so new unit, rifle grunt. Armed with an M17 fully automatic assault rifle. Roll, long range anti infantry. Long range, okay. Grunts have the longest range of any infantry unit, which can make their deployment decisive in an open battlefield. Although weaker than veterans, insufficient uh, numbers they are useful shock troopers okay light recon stats crew two speed five weapons one armor one high speed reconnaissance light anti-infantry speed maneuverability make the mx 500 ideal for its role as the ro uh, roving eyes of the western frontier army with no armor and just one rear mounted heavy machine gun on the base model this unit should avoid entanglement wherever possible all right Let's go. Next mission, behind enemy lines. Bravo Company has been encircled by the Tundra in advance. Fight your way back through hostile territory. Liberate any captive frontier forces you encounter and put a dent in the enemy battle lines on your way out. Aye. You can combat roll in four directions. Oh, okay. <laughs> the general looks like an egg. 
it looks like a, a, a cross between an egg and a thumb. I like it. <laughs> General Herman here, Commander. Hey. Do you copy? I copy. There's a tractor. Here's the bad news. Czar Gorgie's launched an all-out attack. Which means our position is now behind enemy lines. But here's the good news. You're gonna join forces with the boys from Bravo Company. We'll see if we can't get us a piece of the action. <laughs> These guys really are warmongers, aren't they? Hoorah! They love it. They've been itching Bravo for a Company's fight. Been airdropped just north of your position. Head for the Gold Star, Commander. Aight. Say hello to your new battalion, Commander. Press the X button to get these boys to follow you. Come on, boys. Let's go uh, fuck some shit up. Do some damage. It's that pesky Ooh. spy again. Take him out before he can report uh, back that to didn't work. Come on, boys. Kill him. Nailed him. And it looks like he left a medipack behind. You can grab these for yourself. Otherwise, your grunts will pick him up as necessary. Ah, so our grunts can heal? I have eliminated my heal? spy, General, cool. but his comrades are thirsty for revenge. Is that right? Never trust the Russians. Honestly, uh, sorry, the Russians slip of the tongue there. The Tundrans. Yes, how silly of me. Right, come on, men. Let's go see what damage we can do. I got it, I got it, I got it. So the bullets are quite slow, but that's okay. Grab the medkits, men. I want my boys fully patched up and ready for combat. Right, go for it, dudes. Oh, so that's what they ah, that's better. That's much better. All right, that works. Oh, we're kind of taking some damage here, though. All right, all right, we're on it, we're on it, we're on it. Oh, I like the little. <laughs> <laughs> the little souls leaving their body as they die. Oh, I like it. Cannon fodder, man. All right. <laughs> the frontier cowboys are approaching our position. Cross the road Ooh, bridge and MG destroy nest. them. That's not great. See the zero one marker? That means the MG nest up ahead is empty. Get over there and press the B button to jump in. Ooh. Just aim and fire. These MG nests are pretty darn powerful, so make good use of them. You got it. Oh, auto lock on as well. Excellent. Although you said they're powerful, it doesn't seem to be that powerful to me, but. The bridge is ours, Commander. Say again. The bridge is ours. What do I know? Come on, boys. Get patched up. Let's go commit some more moida. In the name of freedom. Want to check old radio messages? Press start, pause, then find the mission log. Okay, so okay, so we've got an actual battle map type thing going on here. I'm using cool. the L and R buttons. I'm looking at the battle map, it ah oh, right, that's kind of around the mountain. That's fine. Go get them, boys. Sick them. Those thundering bullets sting a little bit, huh? Use those fallen logs as cover, Commander. Yep, yep, yep. We're on it. We're on it. Let's go around. That's more like it. We need some grenades or something. I wonder if we get promotions and things. Like, are we going to get new weapons? I don't know. But I'm looking forward to finding out. Looks like like every enemy that dies drops a med kit. I'm going to assume later on that uh, our health is probably going to drain pretty bloody quickly. They're in the trees. Oh, ammo down. Oh, nice. Oh, not great. Whoa, dude. Yeah, close air support. Love it. <laughs> I'm attacking. I'm attacking. We know we can use combat rolls. To be fair, the tutorial is pretty good. It's not, like, super intrusive, like a lot of games. There's medkits everywhere. Oh, wait. Looks like the medkits disappear after a while. But we don't got time to stand around and enjoy the scenery. Target the oil drums to destroy the barbed wire and free the frontier prisoners. All right. We're going 
gonna fly in a light tank and some more rifle guns Whoa. to help you with the rest Did of I just mission. kill my own guys? A tank, you say? Yes, please. Alright, let's destroy these camps. Anything back here? Doesn't look like it. Come on, boys. So we've got seven men now. Did, would we have had eight if I didn't blow one up? Kind of feel bad about that, but... You know, war is hell and all that. Hey, we got a helicopter. There's the tea copter carrying our tank. Let's roll out the welcome wagon, Commander. All right. Oh man. Take control of the tank by locking on with the L button, then pressing the Z button. Oh, sweet, merciful Jesus. Whoa, jeez. All right. Do we have like an MG? I guess we probably do. Have an this MG, but it's automatic. Armor going. The Light MG recon. Oh, we're getting some lag here. Keep your infantry on this side of the bridge. Press the X button to put them in sentry mode. Yep, we're doing it. We're doing it. I think we're losing men. Come on, boys. Let's get rid of that tower. There we go. So right, Herman. it's terrible. That's not good. We don't want... I'm trying. Right, there's a lot going on here. Wow, they hurt. That kind of makes sense. Right, everybody kill that guy. Your tank is in pretty bad shape, Commander. Yeah, I can you see that. Grab one of those blue jerry cans. Okay. So... Right. So those blue jerry cans... They don't actually give us a lot of health. Mm-hmm. Burning flesh. Enjoy your petty triumph, General. This battle has only strengthened my resolve to crush the frontier once and for all. Ah, he's surrendering. Kill him! No surrenders. Hey, we got an A. Excellent. I like this. Let's do another one. So, we got a new tank. That's a light tank. So, crew 2, speed 3, weapons 2, armor 3. Anti infantry, vulnerable to rockets and aircraft. The Herman Mark V is the standard battle tank of the Western Frontier. This latest iteration sees its armoured uh, is armed with a single 100mm cannon and a short range HMG. Despite its mobility, the light armour makes this tank vulnerable to bazooka ambush. And we got the transport copter. Um, roll troop and vehicle carrier. The rapid insertion C-type uh, Samson transport. WF infantry and vehicles in and out of hotspots across the globe. Although lacking in any significant offensive capability, this seven berth Samson is a thickly armoured and can soak up a lot of punishment. Cool. Let's go. The frontier, the frontier radar array at Windbreak Ridge is being harassed by Tundra and Recon vehicles in preparation for a major assault. Support the garrison there until reinforcements arrive. <clears throat> Man. Give up. This is stalemate, Father. Patience, Nova. The game is not over yet. Marshal Nova, there are reports of sporadic fighting across the demilitarized zone. What? The Western Frontier have broken the truce? Actually, no. Uh, forgive me, son. I could not stand to see you toss our proud imperial history into the wastebasket of reformist peacemaking. How dare you? The Tundran army is no longer yours to command. Nelly, take control of those units. It seems we are at war. You would replace me with her? This is an outrage! Well, he has just started a war, and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> An outrage! Press the L button rapidly to cycle between multiple target locks. This is useful for identifying enemies at a distance and assigning units to attack them. Okay. Colonel Austin at your service, Commander. 
The radar array at Windbreak Ridge has intercepted vital enemy transmission, but it is now surrounded by Tundran forces. We need you to reinforce Windbreak Ridge before it falls into enemy hands. Okay. The Frontier are attempting to resupply the radar array. Stop them at once. So that's the enemy commander for this mission. Major Nellick, sounds like she means business commander. Let's get going. Well, the old man has just stirred the pot pretty uh, hardcore. Right, come on, boys. Move out to Windbreak Ridge and reinforce the radar array. Head for the Gold Star, Commander. We're going. We're going. Looks like the Tundrans got here first. Remember what General Herman taught you about flanking, Commander? I remember. I'm on it. Right, there's one gone. Oh, yeah, that health does drain pretty quickly. That's fine. Come on, lock. There we go. Oof. Clear the rest of these red bastards out of here. Go get them, boys. I guess we can kind of... Oh! Can we just hit that? Oh, we can as well. Of course, there's a bit of splash damage. That's what we're talking about. Cross the river and follow the mountain trail. Hurry, Commander. The Tundras could strike at any moment. Yes, let them come. We've got enough bullets for everybody. Tundra heavy recon oh, boys. at 6 o'clock. Your grunts are no match for them. Get across that river. Yeah, we're going. We're going. Those are bazooka veterans from the garrison at Windbreak Ridge. Veterans. These boys have the firepower to neutralize the enemy recon. Sweet. The bazooka vets have now joined your battalion. Tilt the C-stick left or right to cycle between unit right. types. Right. I see. Once the unit type is highlighted, tilt up or down on the C-stick to cycle between individual units. Oh. Then press the Z button okay. to control transfer into that unit. Wait, the what? Veterans have an advanced weapon. Press and hold oh. the A button to power up. Once the A button is released, the weapon will fire with increased range. Oh, so we can take direct control of anything. Okay, I like that. Welcome to Windbreak Ridge, Commander. This base is garrisoned by the Rifle Grunts and Bazooka Veterans of Charlie Company. Excellent. Lead the Bazooka Veterans to guard the entrance to the radar array. Lock on to an MG nest using the L button. Now use the C-Stick to select an individual Rifle Grunt. Uh, an individual Select their rifle unit type with the C-stick, then press the X button to put them in sentry mode. Now press the Y button to order your selected rifle grunt to garrison the MG nest. Okay. And then, oi, no, 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 oi, ah! Oh, this is a little bit fiddly, actually. Okay. To have your soldier leave his post, target the MG nest and press the X button. Alright. Definitely a little bit fiddly. Commander, you have garrisoned that MG nest with a bazooka veteran. Are you sure this is strategically sound? Uh, probably not. How do I get out of here? I command you to strike. Right, let's... Cool, they're all in there. Sweet. Right, everybody back off. Um... Right, let's get these bazooka guys back here. And we do that by... Nicely done, Commander. But okay, that's alert. fine. I have a feeling they are still searching for a weak spot in our defenses. Probably. Recon two. Right. Close their defenses and report back to me with precise information on all their fortifications. Okay, so the, the challenge the here. To the, Silver Star. the challenge here is going to be uh, trying to remember all of the controls remember, and actions the going on at once. Because each of my radio broadcasts. Use it when you need to remind yourself of your. Yeah, uh, we know. We got this. Right, let's get everybody to station. Probably here. See, sometimes the interface disappears. Uh, I wish that interface would just statically stay. Um. Right, can we send another dude? No. No. no, we want everybody to come back. So, individually... Do we have to just send them here? 
in which case we need to use that oh god these controls is that it Like, what are we supposed to be doing here? Uh, mission log. Um, get your bazooka veterans to the Silver Star. Well, uh, we are definitely here now. Do we have to... We have to aim at the silver star, or is it because is there more bazooka? Ve ah, wait, is there more bazooka veterans back here that we have forgotten? MG nest, right? You come here. I'm not really sure. Right, let's get you. And send you in that. And then we want you. Come on. You go in that. That's not what we wanted to do. Get one of you in that. Come on. Come on. Get in the. Right, he's in there, cool. Okay, everyone else, follow me. So, what exactly? Let's select all of our bazooka soldiers and send them here. Is that it? Ah, right. Um, are we supposed to be attacking these guys? Yes, sir. Right, come on. Everybody come back to me. Now, let's take control of one of these guys. Cool. Everybody, let's go. Let's see if we can't destroy these guys. Now let's charge up and give them hell. There we go. So we don't actually need to be anywhere near these uh, guys, which is... Okay, I'm not sure why the camera's done that. That's odd. Yep, we're using global mode. Don't worry. Right, everybody... Grab up as many health kits as you can. Closing on objective. I think that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah, there's a lot of controls to remember. Excellent work, Commander. But if I know the tongue, they are merely gearing up for an even more devastating attack. <gasps> I don't know why that guy's just standing there. For your sake, I hope you have men dug in on both sides of your radar array. Uh, I mean, sort of. Recon vehicles approaching the main entrance, and more infantry attacking from the rear. They are trying to overwhelm us. Well, the main infantry can you didn't think I fall into that. No, well, I was kind of hoping. Well, those guys are just getting slaughtered by our MG nests. Let's go take the rest of the team and see what we can come up with over here. Aha! Are these the vehicles? Oh, yes. They're just standing here, just chilling. Right, so we really do have short-range missiles. That's good to know. So you do need to lean quite heavily on using that special power. Oh, I see. I see what they mean by the camera now. The camera just kind of, like, if you back too far well done, Commander. I did not this direction, this the map just goes to shit. That's going to take some getting used to. Courageously so far, but now I shall strike at the very heart of your defenses. <gasps> Bring it on, bitch. Nelly means to fire infantry directly inside the perimeter of the base. Well, that's not good. Oh, I see. The rockets actually just dropped down. That's bad. 
Uh, shame we couldn't destroy that. Probably could have. Congratulations, Commander. You defended the radar array long enough for reinforcements to arrive. All right. Not so fast, Colonel. I have one last trick up my sleeve. Oh. Enemy light tanks incoming. Get oh. down to the river crossing. Yeah, that's that's bad. Right. Let's go. Destroy those tanks, Commander. We're on the way. Got some heavy weaponry now. Men! If your vehicle becomes stuck, press the B button to engage high traction mode. Can I not? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that is a little bit confusing. High traction mode, eh? Right, let's light these guys up. That hurts. But not as much as we're hurting them. You're done, son. Incredible. I may have underestimated you, Colonel Austin. <laughs> well, you cannot overestimate the tenacity of the frontier soldier, Major Nelly. To be fair, that much is evident, Colonel. We were Austin. doing the work. Just we saying. should convene under the white flag sometime to discuss tactics, of course. Oh, oh my! Whatever does she mean by that, Commander? Well, sweet summer child, I'll let you Google it. Looks like his lucky day. Alright, hey, we've got an A. Speed was... Well, I well, yeah, we definitely could have done that faster. Getting, um, getting hooked up on the controls a little bit here and there, but it's not too bad. I think there's just an awful lot to try and take in. Uh, it would be a little bit better as well if your um, uh, bar at the bottom, which tells you all the units you have, would stop disappearing. And then you have to push buttons to get it to reappear, and then you're giving orders and just, yeah, a little bit weird. Um, but, you know, it's just a learning curve, I'm sure. Armed with low recoil rocket launcher. Mid-range anti-armor. Vulnerable to infantry. A few well-placed high explosive shells from a bazooka veteran can turn even the most impressive battle machine into a heap of smoking junk. Unfortunately, their projectiles have very low muzzle velocity and are relatively easy to dodge. Alright, I'm going to leave this one here, guys, because we're on nearly 50 minutes. I'm really, really liking this. I think I would probably... Um, I think we're going to have to add this to the LP list. We are absolutely going to have to add this to the LP list because this looks fantastic. Uh, I'm probably going to play it through once before I uh, actually record it just so I know what the hell I'm doing. But this is going to be a good time. Definitely getting like a, a mix of glitch in the system and the outfit on the Xbox 360. Excellent stuff. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I know I have. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.